There's so many options. So many options. So many. Op- there's so much possibilities. There's, there's so, certain many, things. so many pecs. Yeah. So, so many. Yeah. So, and I think. <laughs> Welcome to the Boyfriends Podcast, where we help you find your circle and And your your man. man. I'm Jared D. King. I'm here with Renee, Noel, and Mike. And we have a fun topic for you on our season finale today. Uh, So we're going to talk about how important are labels in a relationship. Um, Mike. Hi. (laughs) <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are we? You uh, kind of hit me up with this uh, with an idea yes. for this topic. Could my, you fill us in? My two friends suggested this because they listened and they're like, oh, I'm very intrigued to see what everyone's opinion on this would be because we kind of had this conversation with a friend before in mm-hmm. our little circle. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, the title doesn't matter. But then I was like, well, I want loyalty. I want." She wants everything that comes with a title. And I was like... Work, okay. <laughs> not, I'm not going to share my opinion. <laughs> but I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So I will that's, share all of my opinions. Yes. I'll let you guys go first. But that was a couple <laughs> years ago, so I feel like her opinion changed, but I won't, I won't bring it back mm. up. Let's hmm. see what you guys think. That's interesting. Um, so you're saying, like, with the loyalty and all that, like, there kind of needs to be, like, a label placed on top of Yes, that. I think so, at least. Like, if I'm going to be committed to you in the relationship i want the title and knowing what comes with that is sort of like i hate using the word loyalty i think today we misuse it Mm -hmm. and we want like un like blind loyalty of like whatever i say or do yeah like autonomy is right right, right. respect yeah consistency yeah Yeah. because to me loyalty is more so i'm committed to you i I will agree with you when I think you're right, but also calling you on your BS and yeah, saying, yeah. hey, you're out of line. Like, yeah, that's yes, not, yeah. what you're doing isn't right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. I think so too. I mean, you know, I know I've said that loyalty is a big thing for me before mm-hmm. on this show, um, but yeah, blind loyalty is not necessarily it. Yeah. You know, I think you need to be, I think you, you just need to be supportive and you yeah. need to be present in the relationship. And I think, you know, not suddenly switching up on somebody right. is like mm-hmm. you know, that would be the the disloyal yeah. side of that but i mean as far as like labels are concerned um i i personally do think that they're important um you know a lot of people don't like a lot of people like to say that they don't like labels mm-hmm. and you know it is what it is or whatever um I mean, and especially for, like, labeling your sexuality or something. Like, some people will be like, oh, I don't like... You can call me gay if you want to, but I don't really... I'm not really into the label thing. Right. I don't Um, subscribe to labels. But I feel like... Yeah, Mm -hmm. but I think, like, at the same time, if you're communicating something to someone else, there needs to be a quick and succinct way to communicate that. Um, And I think labels are like an easy way of doing that yeah I think they set like or you're able to set your mind to it as well and be like this is my expectation of everything and that's what I like so it's like okay if I know this is a hookup I know what to expect I'm like okay we're Mm -hmm. done like Mm -hmm. toot and boot it we're moving on like I'm dating I'm like all right I'm trying to get to know someone and all that and like what I expect out of a date and all that but like when it comes to a relationship that's a completely different thing and I don't want you like if I'm in a committed relationship I'm not and it's not open. I'm not trying to like lose you or anything yeah. like that. Like yeah. with somebody, like if you didn't have a label on a committed relationship, and somebody asked you, like, what do you, what are you guys? Yeah. And you're just like, oh, that's my friend. Yeah. Like, yeah, I would be like, what? You like, huh? wait, 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 hold on. We've been, we've been. The seeing popular each other. term now is is situationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good old situationship. So Look, if you, gross. Just, if you say that, gross. Like, there's not going to be a situation. Yeah, the situation is me leaving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so let's talk about like the labels for like status in a relationship. Like, there's like the talking stage, and then yes. you're dating, and then you're like you're exclusive or something. Okay. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna say it now. Yes. I hate when people call it. We're just talking. Yeah. yeah. We're just talking. Uh, off yeah absolutely i'm like oh you've you've never met them so you just you just talk that's it yeah you never met that person you just talk yeah oh cool 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 cool. all right like that makes sense we're just talking 
Right. <laughs> You're dating. Be You're a grown dating. up. Yeah, yeah. dating is t- talking and dating. Same thing. It's literally the same it just, thing. People are scared. They're like, I have to say talking because they get triggered by the word dating, probably. I know, but like, why? But I'm not saying it's right. But I like, know. But it's like. And I, I feel like I feel like people who are um, afraid to scare someone away say like, oh, we're just talking. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. like if someone is scared away. Because you say that you're dating them. Mm-hmm. Dating can have a lot of terms, especially if you're honest with someone yeah. and you talk about like, hey, so like this, I really like you, but I'm still seeing other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, you can still be dating. Yeah. I agree. I do also think that when you say dating, there's a tendency to, uh, like the way that it translates to some people is that it's like, you're like dating as opposed to, oh, you've gone on a few dates. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Do you like get what I'm saying? You know, like yes, it's a little bit but, more serious than. But also, yeah, we've been on a few dates. That so means we're dating. We're dating. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a, yeah. it's just the. Pe- you're right. You're yeah. right. You're exactly right. <laughs> or yeah, it's is there a difference between dating and being always exclusive? Yeah. Yeah. There's a big difference. Then we're boyfriend and boyfriend, girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend. Because yeah. dating, well, I, I could you? still. So that's another question. See others. Like house. if you're exclusive, are you? Boyfriend, boyfriend, yes. girlfriend, yes, yeah. whatever. Yes. Be, like, if you're exclusive, that means you're not seeing anyone else. That means you're dating that one person yeah. and just, you're in a committed relationship, which yeah. means right. your boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend well, and girlfriend. I, or well, boyfriend I boyfriend. personally agree. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Like, are there is there a case? Would some people say, uh, would some people be like in an exclusive relationship or get to the point where maybe they've just crossed the dating threshold into exclusive territory, mm-hmm. um, are they going to not ascribe that title to their significant other, like the boyfriend and girlfriend thing? Would they, like... I think it's someone that's like, we're exclusive, but I don't really want to be in this. Um, and they're like, kind of like half in, half out, and they're like, I, I just don't want to say... Like, you can't mm. let that person down or something like that. I feel like when, from personal experience... Mm-hmm. When I met Carlos, I said, this is what I want. These are my mm-hmm. expectations. I want to have a mm-hmm. partner. I want a boyfriend first. Someone who's committed to me. Why would it say committed? <laughs> committed. <laughs> <laughs> committed to me, loyal, respectful. But I wanted, he knew that. But when we were seeing each other, we went on many dates. And people were asking me, like, what are you both? I mean, we're just seeing each other. And I didn't want to have a a label on him because in, in case like I can say that um, if it didn't work out, I can say, oh, just someone I saw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I wanted him because I knew what I wanted. I wanted him to want it more than me. Mm. So that's when he asked me to be his boyfriend like six months later. Aww. But I wanted it so bad. Like like month three, I was like, I wanted to be my boyfriend so bad, but I'm so scared. I um, see. I would prefer seeing each other. Over the term talking. Yeah. I would prefer that. We saw each other a lot because we dated during the pandemic, during COVID, mm. during the pandemic that summer. Mm. Right. So we got to know each other like a lot without people around us too. Mm-hmm. So we're just like alone. Gotcha. Yeah. That I mean, like you could also just not listen to my advice because like <laughs> I've like, I've never really had like an exclusive boyfriend, but that's because maybe I, I you know what? I could be at fall here and I could be like the very like aggressive, like I just need a label on it. Like I need to know because like if you, I feel like people just like avoid labels to string people along. I hate that. Yeah. Like, okay. So, but then they get like, I have like whenever I dated a guy and they don't put a label on it, I'm going to start seeing other people. Like I'm going to date, I'm going to have sex with other people. And then they get mad at me. They're like, yeah, but we've been talking like great. Yeah, well, you're right. people like don't want to. <laughs> people don't want to get hurt. I think from the labels, if they're like, well, if I put a label on this and then they end up leaving or something like that, I mean, that's they, just th- a risk you gotta it's, take. It's life. <laughs> that's about, just yeah. life. What yeah. about if feelings get involved without labels? Like how you just said that, like, if that person says to you, "We were just dating," mm. you could easily exit out without a label. Yes. What about if you, you know, what about feelings? What about like I mean, like I have feelings; they exist. <laughs> no, I know. Like, yeah, I'll have like some disappointment. I it'll be less of a heartbreak than like um, like saying that like we were boyfriend and girlfriend. But I just I feel like dating is a very evergreen term, and I feel like talking just takes out so much of what you could mean to each other. Yeah. And it's I feel like it's almost like just disrespectful to like what you have between you almost. Mm. Yeah. 
I, that is my uh, opinion. Okay. I get it. I I'm, I'm very much like a commitment person. Yeah. And even if I'm not, like I have like my friends with benefits. I asked him, like, we need to put a label on it because yeah. I actually want you as my friend too because I like hanging out with him. Yeah. He's He's hilarious. I mean, it's important to and I, know. Yeah, and, what and so I said to him, I was just like, "Do you want to like, do you want to be just booty calls, or but I I would like to be friends and right. but with benefits. Is that cool?" He's like, "Oh yeah, no, I'd like that too." Right. Just yeah. honesty, people. Yeah. Right. Have the right. conversation. I'm, yeah. I'm very attracted to you right now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. That was, that was unexpected. <laughs> Does she know what she wants? I do. <laughs> You know, it's like it's interesting because I feel like we do a lot of tap dancing around what we want and we won't just put it out there and let the other person take it or leave you it. You have to because you never find you never know anything if you don't put it out there. Right. Like closed mouths don't get fed. Okay. So what about like if we were to get married? Yes. Would you call your significant other your husband? Absolutely. Okay. I can't f- wait. Would you not? There are some people who okay, so I, I know that is the most I'm allergic be, to commitment I've ever heard. Be, I know a couple. When yeah. I get married, I'm gonna be so <laughs> annoying. Well, I don't need to put judgment on people. On purpose. I don't know your life. I don't know your trauma. But really, you're married to someone and you don't the, like putting a so label what, on it. So what do they call each other? I don't know. I think life partner. <laughs> Maybe partner, partner works, significant yeah. other or something. I mean, I you know, I know in in my particular case with my friend, he's he he's not like the super squishy romantic lovey dovey lovey dovey. Yeah. That kind of stuff just kind of sets. That's not him. Yeah, it's just not him. Mm-hmm. Um, but that doesn't mean that he's not like in the relationship. Right. You know, they haven't really gotten used to the labels yet. They've been married for about six months, six uh-huh. seven months now. Um, I'm like you. I would get stoner. Like this, is my husband. Yeah. You see him? You see him? Has also, anyone seen my husband? I can't find my husband. Also see <laughs> Has anyone seen my husband? Yeah, I'd be people. walking through Target like on a cloud. Husband. Husband. Oh, I don't need I, help finding the towels. Cool. I would have be you, so have mad. Have you heard that joke <laughs> from that comedian? That girl when she got engaged and she felt like so like above everyone. She's just like, I don't need help finding towels in a Target. I have somebody that loves me. <laughs> That's exactly how I would be. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's funny because, like, it's funny because, like, and before I thought about marriage, like, I would see people post, like, "Oh, my husband and I." I'm like, I was like, "Your husband has a name," <laughs> but now it's like, I get it. Like, I want that. I too. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, I think it comes. It could be seen as a like a little bit of a political kind of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it gives us like even in that sense, like, like you had just mentioned, it's like. You're letting us know that you're married. You're letting us know you have a husband. You're letting us know, you know. I'm letting like I'm letting everyone know, and like even like with everything happening right now, like I'm entitled to the same rights as everyone else. Mm-hmm. I have a f-ing husband. Yes. Yeah. 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 One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> so wait, Put how long have you guys hurt. known each other? Uh, three years. Okay. So my other question is like, why does it take gays so long to get married? Why do we have and I'm not judging your relationship. No, at no, all, no, no, no. But no. I'm the just gays. saying <laughs> the gays. I feel like we'll be together for like seven years before we actually like, oh, let's get married. But like, I don't think that's a bad. Th- well, no. s- some people I know it's rush. Not, I won't say it's I, a bad thing. I, I just have a friend that moved in with her boyfriend six months in, mm. and I, I don't think it's a good relationship. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she listen to I oh, think no. that. Well, so I, I take my mom's advice yeah. with that, and she said, "Don't move in. T- don't move in with your boyfriend. Move in until with your husband." Yeah. Um. And so I don't think I'd move in with a guy until we're like engaged, honestly, yeah. because you also need to know how they live. Yeah. I need to know: Am I going to be your mother? I just mm-hmm. find like <laughs> there's a point of like going slow mm-hmm. or rushing it, and mm-hmm. it feels like fools rush in. It's a good movie. I mean, I love that movie. Right. It just it's like why are you rushing your life to like meet a goal rather than just Because enjoying sometimes it? people rush because it's so hard to lock down someone and they go all but then you, throttle. But then you settle for someone mid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like it's interesting because it's like people try to hit these life markers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As mm. opposed to assessing whether this person I thought by now I would be like married with like a child and like a dog and a husband and a house mm. though. Like, yeah. it doesn't work that way. A lot of way. people are like, you know, by 30, I need way. to be. Yeah. Back, I would like by to 35, be. 35, I need to be. Yeah. yeah. I told Carlos before I turn like 45, I would like to be married. 
That's reasonable. Carlos. That seems reasonable. Let me help you pick he out knows. the ring. He knows. Like, <laughs> I'll be 39 in August. Okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. You're going to be the cutest dad. We'll see. <laughs> I want I I we have we t- we talk about like weddings and stuff like that. We both want the same things. That's great. Like where we want to have it, who we want what we want in our wedding, the idea, the the look. Yeah. Makes sense. Um as far as like time, I'm like I don't want to be in enga- I want to be I don't want to get engaged in a rental. <laughs> That's fair. I <laughs> like yeah. I I want to buy a house first and then get engaged and then the marriage part. Yeah. Is that because you want the house in your name? Actually, we get did, that deed, baby. No, we were good. <laughs> we're discussing it that we'll be put on both. I'm just being messy. I know. <laughs> no, I told. Hey, no, I, that's I, not messy. No, that I, is I, just good no, marriage. That, no, I get t- your name on that deed. I told him like, um, I I want to do this. Like, you can be added to it later. Right. That's up to you. But he's like, no, I want to like divide the work. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, okay, awesome. On, also, I was kind of thinking about it, and um, so I think. Like, just addressing your question of why um, gay men tend to wait a bit longer before getting married um, or even just putting a label on things, I think it's because, obviously, a traditional, this term traditional will change, yeah. and I'm hoping it changes soon, but in hindsight, the world that we live in right now, traditionally, man and woman get married, man and woman have baby, man and woman, like, do this, and yeah. it's, like, it's very much following that traditional linear time yeah. of what a relationship looks like but you guys kind of start off non-traditional mm-hmm. yeah. and yeah. so maybe it kind of like can warp the timeline it can maybe feel a little bit more confusing because you guys don't have that set linear yeah. right. timeline yeah. like a goal yeah, yeah. you don't you like you guys don't I mean, have like I'll those mi- say, you do have those milestones yeah. but maybe yeah. it just kind different. of throws it off a bit right? yeah i mean i'll also say like some people come out at different stages in their lives right. mm-hmm. So if I was, I've been out since I was 17, but if I come, if I go out with somebody who just came out like last year, they're mm-hmm. still technically a baby gay, even right. if they're older. Baby you know gay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're new still to try, the world. They're still new to, yeah, the whole thing. So n- that could be a piece of it as well. Mm-hmm. You're just trying mm-hmm. to like wait for this guy to like. That, and then I also think, I feel like we also are weighing our options sometimes. Mm-hmm. There's so many options. So many options. So many op- there's so much possibilities. There's so certain many, things. So many pecs. Yeah, so little so many, yeah. So, and, I think, <laughs> and some people rather do that than like put a label on it. I like to see what else is out there for you. Right, wait. Am I, am I really going to delete this grinder yeah. right now? I don't like, know. Yeah. Like stuff like that. You're like, is this It, it could also vary person yeah. to person. Like yeah. whose timeline looks like. So for me, I like... I would, in my preference, I definitely prefer somewhat non-traditional because, like, you know, I come from a family of divorce. Um, The only stable relationship that I've ever seen in my life is my sister and her husband, Khalid. Amazing. And so, honestly, my dream relationship is, like, we're dating for a while. We get, like, a place together and we have a baby and then, like, 20 years down the road we're like you just want to like fuck up and get married right. <laughs> like right. we've we've already been here like yeah. let's just do it <laughs> let's get it over with taxes yeah. right yeah. yeah that kind of thing so yeah. that that would, i i see i i think i would prefer traditional and non-traditional it just depends it depends on the person the relationship and i and i think that also kind of falls down to like what you guys want to put a label on but also don't lie to yourself yeah when putting a label on something yeah don't that, say like yeah. that's my boyfriend when you know for sure he is not committed. Mm, yeah, no. that's that's important. Speaking as well. of like labels and weddings right now, like between the two of you, like your verse, as you say, <laughs> with the eye roll, <laughs> your, your verse, your your bottom. Yeah, you want to get married? I don't know. And I don't feel like I don't feel like an end goal. I'm just like I just want to find someone that I enjoy with and want to spend time with. Could you yeah. see marriage in your future? Maybe. I mean, maybe, yeah. Maybe. If I like them enough, I would get married. Would you want to be asked because you're the bottom? <laughs> I probably, but also it's more so like I don't want to ask anyone. I don't know. I just don't have like that. What drive. about you, Jared? So I would like to get asked not because of a positional thing. Cause I yeah. get where you're going with that. Yes. Um, but I would like to get asked because I do all of, I feel like I do so much initiating. Mm. 
Mm. I'm the same way, you know, so I feel that. That makes so, so much like, sense, yeah. If somebody else were to initiate the next step, I think that would be a big that would be a big deal for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't know. I just I've always seen the dynamic between couples that are gay that I've seen so far that one's more dominant than the other mm-hmm. and then the dom will ask yeah. the, the bottom to be married. Yeah. yeah. In my case, like I want him to ask me. Mm. Right. Because of your reason. Does he know that, or is uh, it kind uh, yeah. of one of yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Did, I, I told okay, you. So how did I, you let him know that? I said I want to be asked. Okay. Period. And he just he was like, he was like okay. okay. I and told I, I with that. I told him all. The, I gave him everything in the beginning of us talking. Like this is what I want. Blah 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 blah. blah. We love mm-hmm. a man who yeah. knows what he wants. Yeah, because I I just I just knew what I want. Like going into it. Yeah. I'm like it's up to you whether you want to go around for the ride, mm-hmm. and obviously he's been along for the ride. Maybe something on your mind, Mike. So when it comes to like getting married, I also don't give a f- about a ring. Like I'm not like okay. a jewelry person, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. to me I'm like. I saw, yeah. I saw, I know the one that I want. Mm. Yeah. But then I w- we went camping two weeks ago, and we were, by the, something you like more. we were by the pool, and this thing, this guy had a ring on, and it shined in my eye. I'm like, what the hell is that? Right. I thought it was a cock ring for a second. <laughs> It was, it was. I've actually seen really nice, like, masculine cock engagement rings. rings. <laughs> oh, cock rings. No, <laughs> engagement rings. <laughs> the one he, the one he had is exactly what I wanted. Oh, okay. It oh, was just, cute. it was Do you just. Do info? Do you know yeah, what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's just a band with a bunch of diamonds around, around it, crossed around okay. it. It's really sparkly. Yeah, I yeah, want something, yeah. like, very big and sparkly on my yeah. finger. See, now I had come to the conclusion that I don't need, and I'm probably going to blank this out because I don't need anybody else really knowing this, but I don't need a diamond on my, I could do like the, what do you call it, moissanite or whatever. Oh, uh, the, the like artificial diamonds? Yeah. I, Get, I mean, cubic like, zirconium? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just want it to be sparkly. You could give me a ring from like Walmart and I'd be fine. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about a ring. I'm just not a jewelry person like that. It's I feel yeah. like you would get I'm tired so of explaining <laughs> why you have a Walmart ring on your. I don't care. I just be like, I just don't wear jewelry like that. I don't give. A, I don't give a. I fuck. want. I am the a real diamond. <laughs> yeah, I am the sparkle. I yeah. want. I want an oval cut with a halo gold band. Okay. I'm a size seven. <laughs> I'm a size thirteen. <laughs> and I so honestly, I would like a real diamond one because it's like you, I. I think of it more as like a repu- representation yeah. and also a f- down payment because I'm uh, traditionally women do a lot of work in the household. Yeah. They take care of the kids and I want kids and I'm going to be out of commission for a whole nine months, mm-hmm. more than once. That's going to ruin my body. And also more, a lot of the feminine stuff in this world cost way more money than masculine stuff. That's mm. my hair. That's my clothes. That's my makeup. So, and feminine products. If you want me to be your wife and take on that wifely duty, it's gotta be I need a down payment. It's gotta I be need diamonds. that commitment that right sense. now. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a good okay, reasoning. So I, I would like to challenge you here. <laughs> no, go for it. Here. That's just my <laughs> beliefs, and and I and I feel like there are some men that also believe that, and the men that don't. Well, we're not. I'm not for you. Okay, so here's the thing. That's because a good like when you know the history of the diamond ring, it really was just some guy who was like branding it as the end all be all of commitment. Like he did a really good job of branding. Yeah, it. no, I know that. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like we're all kind of brainwashed to get diamond rings. Like you could do like. Well, also when a woman was, um, you know, when a, so traditionally a woman a woman was supposed to be the one with the dowry, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh yeah, Bridgerton. <laughs> Ever after. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. you're talking to a gay crowd so, right now. Yeah. So traditionally, <laughs> it was a woman who was the one who worked, who, who brought like the money. The like, all right, you take my daughter, kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but like, you're not like you're. I'm not. You're not like taking me from anyone. Like, I'm a. I'm an yeah. independent woman. Like, I need the down payment, kind yeah. of. Thing. Like, I like I I I'm I'm making the commitment to being your wife in a lot of like house chores. And like I said, again, I want to have children, my body mm-hmm. and stuff. And obviously there are going to be ways that I'm going to say like, thank you. Like, hey, you give me this engagement ring. 
I might give you an engagement watch that's like of equal value. That's nice. Yeah. Honestly, I think about it, I would get a tattooed ring, if anything. I think. Ooh. Oh, that's sweet. Because I also like tattoos. I would rather do that. Like yeah. that, I would, I'd be like, yeah, I have to wear this. That's cute. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, yeah, wedding ring. I'm also not thinking about marriage at all right now in this moment. You're how old are you? I'm a sensible 27. A sensible, <laughs> sensible 27. Oh, uh, yeah, you have, yeah. I just, I'm just trying to enjoy, enjoy life. Your life find, right now. find like yeah. someone I, I enjoy life with. Enjoy your life yeah. right now. So that's what I'm trying yeah. to do. No, I mean, I think for me, like the whole diamond thing is like, I, yeah, I would take sensible. a diamond ring. I would take a diamond ring. I would sell it. <laughs> you would sell you would go a step it. farther yeah <laughs> that's hilarious wow. no but i think like the the moissanite diamonds like they're the artificial they look the same they're you can't tell yeah you can't tell mm -hmm. and they're not like mined by you know they're not blood diamonds. cheap labor or something you know yeah. it's like yeah it's like a different thing that's um, why i want a vintage engagement ring got gotcha. you upcycle okay. or whatever okay. upcycle yeah. henry winston mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be asked. That's fair. Yeah. 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 He asked me to be is his there, boyfriend. Is there a world in which you do the asking, Mike? I kind of like someone to do. I would like someone else to. I'm very much in control of my life, my social life. Mm -hmm. I, I keep myself busy and all that. So I would like someone to, but probably. I mean, I usually am the one that takes the lead. In, like, have you? Things. Have you? Do you feel like when you have not been in control, you've been let down? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. But I also try to set my standards as now as you can't control everything. Like you have to like put in perspective, like this is out of your control and gotcha. you have to see where it takes do you. I mean, I'm saying like, do you leave space for people to just kind of take you along on their own? Uh, uh, sometimes, not really. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Okay, I was just asking yeah. because it kind of struck me that way. I was like, oh, this guy's like he he. You like you've said multiple times yeah. that you're like you're in control or yeah. you're you've got like a lot of stuff going yeah. on and yeah. you're kind of driving. This I mean, shit. Yeah. and I think on some yeah. level, all of us need to kind of like drive yeah. our own lives mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I think I think sometimes, and I'm saying this to myself as well. Mm -hmm. It's like. We kind of like need to let loose or let go a little bit and yeah. and <laughs> allow somebody to if if we're interested in them at least to allow somebody to like let's let's see what you do. Yeah, you know? uh, my deadline is three months. So uh, psych psychologically, uh, three months is when people stop masking and they start really showing their true self and what their actual intentions are. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can't put on a facade longer than three months. Hmm. I mean, if you're a sociopath, then you probably can, but. <laughs> That's really true. Have you noticed that with friends as well? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I've never so known that. Like I know that's a good thing to write know that down, write because now I believe. Let me write that down. Let me take notes. <laughs> three month, three month rule. Okay. I let's have a three see. month rule. Who you really are. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I, usually, when you hit the three month mark, you'll start. That's when people start to either get closer or drift or dri or start drifting apart and having mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. and that's usually the three month mark about that time is when you really start to like yeah. see some for who they really are mm -hmm. interesting that's actually how long it took for you to be nice to me oh. so oh. I, was, I was always a pol i was polite <laughs> 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 They're like <laughs> all jokes, all nice? jokes. We're friends. We're friends now. We <laughs> That's friends all that now. matters. <laughs> What's like your deal breaker when it comes to labels? Like, do you think it's a deal breaker if someone labels you guys too early? If like they wait too long? If they put a certain label on it? Like for me, I think like red flag is when I ask a guy like, so what are we doing? Like, what, what are, we, are we? Yeah. And they say, you know, we're just talking. We're just hanging out. I'm like, yeah, that's a red flag. I, I did, <laughs> I did this one guy years ago and I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to date the right way and just go on dates with him. It was like three months in. And I asked like, what are, like, what are we? And he goes, I don't know because I might be moving. I'm like, what the f <laughs> He didn't tell you that? What the, f yeah. Like, Moving where? Like to like Florida, whatever. I'm like this whole. Wait, how long are we all together? Three dating three months. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's like the. <laughs> and then he decides to want to move the to plot Florida. Thickens. Yeah, I'm like, what the. F okay. The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. And then, and what sucked was like, 
I stopped seeing him in August because it was around my birthday, and then like comes out fest. Mm-hmm. He didn't move anywhere. <laughs> in fact, he had a boyfriend. Oh my god! It'd be like that. See? Well, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> that's a deal breaker. <laughs> deal breaker. Oh. Which mm. is why I had to ask, I had to let Carlos ask me to be my boyfriend. Hmm. It's you didn't so in that position interesting, the stuff mm. that we go through that like, again. sets. Yeah, our... a lot of the things that I've spoke about on this podcast up till now is stuff I've been through yeah. that changed the direction of my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like once you, you don't hold a hot pan in the oven right twice right. yeah no that's just, oh, so that's yeah. that's why i don't like giving second chances like i've given out so many second chances especially in my early 20s and just like left me hurt crying yeah. and alone and i like i feel like i wasted my time on those second chances when i could have been finding yeah. someone better for me yeah, yeah man don't and that. i just don't want to give any more second chances yeah. like i get it you know, some people are like, well, I gave my husband of 20 years a second chance. Like, okay, well, you're the exception. You're not the rule. Right? Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When it comes to dating, no. Man, no. I'm giving you a second absolutely chance. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no. You broke up. Like, you decided that I, like, I was too clinging one time, and now you want to, like, come back two months later and say that you miss me? I don't yeah. give a f- Yeah. You miss this clingy attitude. All mm-hmm. right? Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because now, like, there's nobody giving you that energy. Yeah, you can't come back over here. Don't nope. bring it over here. I'm with you on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you feel special? I know you mess up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Go be non-special over there. Oh, man. <laughs> but your question was deal breakers. Yeah, for... deal. Sorry, deal breakers for like your like when like is is there like a time that you feel like is way too early to be late to put a label on something? Do you think like there's? So I had a guy. <laughs> I had a guy text me, like, this is a guy that I had dated years ago. And we, I saw him on Instagram, like, he was somebody, we, we dated a couple times, and then he had to move, he, you know, so we ended, it kind of fizzled out. But then he was, we followed each other on Instagram, we would, like, you know, mm-hmm. do, like, little comments and stuff on our posts once right. in a while. It was nothing really. Little cr- cutesy. Yeah. Little cutesy and then all of a sudden, I want to say like a few months ago, he texted me like, hey, husband or hey, hubby or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I was like, oh. We know how we, Mike feel. Is this, is, this where, is this where we're going? Because I mean, like we, we really had like a really great like connection initially. Yeah. Um, so I was like, all right, I will go with this, but I want, I'm going to see where this is going to go. I mean, like, you do live in another state. Let's play this out. Let's play it out. You know? <laughs> for like the it plot. Could, it's for the like, plot. Maybe they just don't know <laughs> if it's like, a, like, maybe to them it seems like a super playful term of endearment, yeah. but to you, you're like, Ugh. No, it's a little, it's <laughs> honestly, hey, looking hey, back, it was a little love bomby because it's like, oh, Ooh, now I, I just yeah. need somebody's attention and I know how to get his attention yeah. and make it like, mm-hmm. Sustained. For like, a I, bit. can you imagine dating for someone for like three dates and then they send you a girlfriend or boyfriend request on oh, Facebook? Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we don't. I have, always want to have that. To do that, and like, I now I'm like, screw Facebook, but I always wanted like Carlos a and I don't have that <laughs> in a relationship. You guys should do. You should do it right now. I yeah, we did, we discussed that, and like, we don't need. We never did it. Or even on Instagram. I used to be obsessed with that. You can like, tell. I just want someone to say that they're dating me on Facebook. Now yeah. I'm just like, what's Facebook? But you can <laughs> tell. You can tell. You can tell on social media like we are together. Mm-hmm. But there's a time when like I wasn't on his at all, and that it's bothered me a little bit. I'm Ooh, like, like, is that like? There's no. Is that like the that's, new that's, way of putting a label on yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Showing like, pictures. I'm like, yeah. guys don't know you're in a relationship with me because I'm not on your social media at Ooh. all. He and, and, he, and he's like, well, I don't need to share my pri- private life. I'll but you do. People. I'm like, yes, you do. You, you do. Wait, you already yeah, do. It's yeah, like yeah, literally yeah. Instagram. That's where you but pay wait, private life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, the people, yeah, yeah. wait, the people on Instagram that do the soft launches of their boyfriends. I think that's oh, the funniest is. thing. I'm just like, oh, he's just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it is. He's or like ugly. the girl, like the like when they do like <laughs> yeah. like when they do At like Disney a World, shadow. It's like like I like you, like do you see that shadow? And it's funny because like you see that hand. Yes. If you go on his social media from like during pandemic. I'm in a lot of the shots, but I'm not in them. I'm either taking the picture. <laughs> He's soft launched. I'm either taking the picture or like my hand is there <laughs> or something. Hilarious. Oh, like, oh, so I've, so like I, well, I've never really, I've actually yeah. never gotten Who to that, that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, I did. 
I did. I got to one. I did it one time, and it was at the three month mark. And I took a picture of like our date night, oh. and I put it on Instagram. Oh. Done. Done. Broke up with me like the next week. Oh. Oh. The jinx. Oh. I. You know I love. And this. you know what? Like honestly, I'm so proud of Past Renee doing that because she took a leap, mm-hmm. and. While she may have fallen into a bed of rocks, yeah. one day it'll be a bed of roses. My favorite without thing, thorns. My favorite mm-hmm. thing without labeling us when we were seeing each other was like, um, if multiple people like followed us on social media, mm-hmm. like I would post like what I made for dinner, and then like minutes later he would post in the story what I made for dinner, mm-hmm. and people were like, and people are adding Wait it a up. minute, <laughs> I recognize that plate design. There's, I mean, like there's a point to be said, like if you're not posting somebody that you that is special to you in your life are they even that special i think i mean it depends on how online you are to, of course but i mean like if you're i think a lot of gays now are just i know someone right now that you can only see the other person's hand when they're cheering a drink but you don't see their face so you know he's or seen, like they do like the whole like flower pick like <laughs> That that special someone that brightened on my day, or like is that your gay boy? Or, or like no, no, that's my like that's my generic uh, white girl basic bitch voice. Love it. That's my generic basic girl voice. Um, <laughs> like when he just knows. Soft lunch at Disney World. See, it Soft bugs lunch. me a little. Well, it doesn't. I don't. I won't say it bugs me, but like I know. I will end. I will post all my friends online, and some people will be like. Like I know I confuse I must confuse a lot of people. You I'm confuse my mom all the time. Just like, oh, is this a new man? Is this like, a new is man? He, is he still? Like, is he? Does he get taken, Renee? <laughs> does he get taken, Renee? <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm trying to put like fr- hashtag friendship goals is always in the post so that y'all know I'm still single out in these streets. Like mm-hmm. it's still wide open. The proverbial door is wide open. Wide open. Um. But yeah, you know, it's just like I would like to be posted sometimes, friends. I I I felt like I wasn't special in his life when he wasn't posting me on his social yeah. media. Yeah, that would make me feel some tickle. Like you posted mm-hmm. a stranger's dog. How long were y'all together when that before me? that bothered you? Very early. Okay, it was very early. But you guys still had like a label on it, and then. No, not yet. Okay, because hmm. I, I really wanted it so bad to happen so quickly, but like I always like try to be patient. Same gotcha, time. gotcha. I was like, I really want to post you now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Sparingly, or like vice versa. Okay, so you both post each other. You're it, saying? It, not, I mean, equal. our Instagram isn't like all of us together. No, it's, but I'm saying like sometimes you like it's not a thing. It doesn't feel like a job Mm-mm. to like. Mm-mm. Like yeah. an upkeep of a conversation. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. oh, I have to post my Mm-mm. significant other on a Monday Mm-mm. every week. Otherwise, no. he's going to catch up. I, I, like, I just love it when, when like, people, like, do, like, their – I like a hard launch when you're just, like, randomly, like, Bam. this is him. This is him. I'm mm-hmm. dating that. Yeah. <laughs> but Mine. I always yeah. get surprised. I remember when my friend uh, Katarina did it uh, for the first time when she f- did her first hard launch of, like, a guy, and they still hadn't put a label on it, but, like – he had taken her out for like her birthday and all this stuff, mm. and then she like did a hard launch with a picture, and I'm like, oh. mm-hmm. my Art. heart dropped. I was like, oh, you just did a social media launch. I, you should just. I remember our hard launch was Easter of the year after, so we oh. didn't post our first together pictures until Easter of 2021. Mm. Mm. And we're both wearing these gay Tommy Hilfiger sweaters on Easter. See, knowing me, I would have. I mean, see, Tommy Hilfiger, is, you gotta do a hard, hard launch when you when you're wearing see, that. See, I would not like. I would be like the way that I am. I would end up posting him like week two, and, but it's just like <laughs> I would the wait at least. His jaw just dropped. Wait, no. I'm so I'm saying like I would end up posting him, but it would be like you know, hey, we're just doing hanging out. Like it wouldn't be like with a relationship like lens. And yeah. so I think that that would then my, shoot me in the foot because then I'm putting myself in the friend zone. About, um, how I would we're do not a putting group her shot with him. After two, I would do like a group shot with him after two weeks, yeah. but like a just you and me shot. But I mean, I post nah. everybody. Like you've seen, <laughs> it's, I post it's on me. brand of like your social posts. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it would make sense. Like me, yeah. I'd be like, I'll give you a month or two. <laughs> Same. You might get like one a year. Like that's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think my my just 
keep it real mentality and not working too hard like and that's like not a slight against what any what anybody else wants to do yeah. but i just think and i and i think that's like a double edged sword for me honestly because mm-hmm. it's like I don't even want to even have to think about am I posting him? Am I posting him too early? So I, I feel that. I feel like posting it. I'm as long as you it. feel good about it, yeah. You know, yeah. like screw it. Okay. And if he has a problem, then okay, that's on him. That's great. But at the same time, it's like <laughs> I, I don't want him to leave. In this picture, <laughs> don't leave so. me. <laughs> so I don't know. I can't. You can't always keep it real. I guess. One thing I always <laughs> wanted to do, and I don't think I don't know if I will ever find anybody who is that gutsy. But I always wanted to do like first date, like just take a selfie, uh-huh. just in case. Uh-huh. Aww. Just, just to go back and be like, oh, this was our first date. Remember? I have. Like, yeah. I think that would be a really cute. I have date. a picture. I, I have a picture of Carlos the first day I met him, at my chiropractor appointment. Oh really? He did. He yeah. I met him uh, at my chiro apartment uh, uh, appointment. Mm. He was a receptionist. And he had his back turned. Cause he was about to do a laser treatment on my leg. And I took a snapshot of his like the back of him to send to my friend, like, look who like look I'm seeing. I still have that picture. <laughs> Where you're being a creeper. I was. <laughs> look, I like, look honey, this is what I was creeping on you. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, I did. That's funny. Yeah. We can move on to final thoughts. <laughs> if you're in a nebulous something with somebody else and maybe you wanna put a label on it. And you're not entirely sure where that person is. Like, how do you approach that conversation, maybe? Um, okay. So I think that if you guys have been seeing each other for... I, I'm honestly... I'll, I'm very cut and dry with this. Um, but this is just me. It can change from, like, situation and relationship to relationship, person to person. This is just how I view it. I think that, you know, if you have gone on, you know, like three dates, you're dating. If you've been dating for more than a month and you're still not ready to like, let's say put like that hard label on it of boyfriend, girlfriend, if you're not willing to say that you're exclusive, I would say you can say like, oh, we're seeing each other. Like we're dating, seeing each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you can just like, if, if like, it, I think that again, month three is a really good marker. Um, psychologically, mm-hmm. it really is. They kind of call, call it like what the ninety day rule almost, yeah, like when you a, don't have sex for the first. Like that's technically what you don't have sex for the first three months, and then couldn't be me. <laughs> um, <laughs> in that time, if you've definitely spent a lot of time with each other, getting to know that person, and you know, especially you guys have had sex. Um, if you are not brave enough or have the confidence to put a label on it, even if it is just to say, just to have the conversation, like, like I, I want you to be my boyfriend or I want you to be my girlfriend. Um, what does that look like to you? And just have the conversation of like, let's be exclusive, let's be exclusive, but like be open, but have an open relationship, that kind of thing. I think if you're if you're not confident enough to ask that question and you feel like they're gonna like run away if you ask that, that's not the kind of person that you want to be with and that's not the type of relationship that you deserve or maybe like you 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 feel like you're not even ready to have that conversation then do you just need to talk to each other people talking yeah. is great or you could be scared like i was because i've been tainted by so many yeah like, bad if, if like you're that. if you're scared i just think that at least have some conversation at that point like you you need to or else, you're, or else you'll just be stuck in a loop of just like being miserable. You should be enjoying that yeah. partnership. You can do what I did where I got, I became really close with his friends and I kind of like put... Infiltrate it. yourself <laughs> in his life. <laughs> like they would ask, they would ask me, so what are you guys doing? It's like, well, you know, I really like him a lot and I want to be his boyfriend, but I'm waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> so like I put it out there mm. into wanna, the universe. If you want to make it really difficult, you can go that route. <laughs> <laughs> no, but his friends were more curious about us as a couple than we were. Mm. I have been scarred too of, you know, asking someone to put a label on it and then just like being like, no, mm. <laughs> and like walking away. And that's fine. I, that means I don't want you. I mean, me personally, I, I'm in the position, I, I think you just need to ask. I, think yeah. you, I mean, like if it's, if it's to a point where you feel like there's something more there and you feel like, you know, you're ready to move to the next step, mm. you have to, you have to take the jump. Yeah, you, you gotta know. be with your thoughts first and be like, "What do I exactly want?" Yeah, what do you and want out of this? Yeah, bring it to the table. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, bring everything to the table. I mean, because honestly, at the end of the day, if you don't ask, you could potentially 
be with somebody who does not want the same thing as you and how sustainable is that? And then you you're know? just there. Yeah. Stuck in you're something. Just there. Yeah. You're just there, stuck in something you don't want to I be in. I think a lot of people are scared to put everything out on the table because they're scared that the other person will be like, this is way too much for me at, at well, once. At they're once. scared Absolutely. of rejection, of they're, course. Yeah. Exactly. But you can't be scared of rejection. You got to get comfortable with rejection. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You have to. I think that can be a theme of this podcast. It's just rejection. like, even when you're trying to find, <laughs> not rejection <laughs> itself, but like being comfortable with it. Like, yeah. even when you're trying to like meet people, yeah. friendships, relationships, yes. you have to be comfortable taking it. You have to be comfortable oh. giving it. <laughs> you have to be a versatile rejection <laughs> rejectionist. <laughs> oh, I am super comfortable giving rejection. I've had a lot of practice receiving. <laughs> well. Mike, do you have any final thoughts on this topic? Just like I said before, like sit with yourself first and be like, what do I need exactly mm -hmm. and what I expect from a title and then bring it to the table. Gotcha. Hopefully it's at the right time, mm -hmm. but sometimes your time is different from others. True. Yeah. True. Like you know exactly what you want in the moment and then that person might not be there yet. Right. Yeah. But what if they agree, like, it's like I see where you're at in your life, but yeah. maybe I'm not there, but there's potential. Yeah. And give someone some grace. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gave him grace. But then there's a point where you have to cap it, I feel like, if that person keeps saying, well, I need time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you got lucky with Carlos. But <laughs> some other people... At least, like, some other men, they'll just keep playing in your face and dragging you along. Mm -hmm. Like I said, yeah. the not exception, yeah. but nope. not the rule. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, again, if you would like to see us for another season, this was our season finale, by the way. So thank you for, for joining us for this, for this fantastic season, this fantastic... Uh, I guess rebrand or re uh, reboyth <laughs> rebirth re of, boy like of the that. boyfriends podcast. <laughs> um, but again, if you want to see uh, more of us, please go to anchor.fm forward slash boyfriends. That will take you to our Spotify page. Um, that's just like the little quick web link. Uh, we'll put the link in the description. You'll see you'll see a link that says support this podcast. You can uh, give a monthly donation to us, and that we would be very grateful to that because a lot of this costs a lot of money, um, and we want to be able to give you the best possible show. We appreciate uh, all of the likes and the comments and the shares and all that stuff, so thank you for sticking with us. Uh, and for the last time this season, if you have no one else, you, you got, got us. us.